Tourists escape unharmed as bus catches fire in Pak Chonggud on Thonavang Vieng route resumes November 1. Tour bus catches fire in Pak Chong, investigation underway. On October 17, a tour bus caught fire on Mitrafap Road in Pak Chong, Nakan Rachesima, while a group of foreign tourists was dining nearby, narrowly avoiding harm. Authorities are still investigating the cause of the blaze. The fire erupted in the middle and rear sections of the air-conditioned bus, which was parked along a service road near the old Mitrafap Highway, directly across from Khao Karen Park. Thick smoke billowed from the vehicle, prompting a swift response from fire crews. Three fire trucks were dispatched, and it took them approximately 30 minutes to contain the flames. The bus driver reported that he had transported 50 Indonesian tourists from Bangkok to Pak Chong District. The group stopped at a nearby restaurant for dinner when the fire broke out in the rear seating area of the bus. Individuals exercising at Khao Karen Park noticed the flames and quickly alerted the driver, who immediately contacted emergency services. The driver expressed uncertainty about the fire's cause, noting that the bus used diesel fuel and had shown no prior mechanical issues. Fortunately, no one was on board when the fire started, and there were no injuries. The tourist's luggage remained intact and was not affected by the incident. Forensic Center 3 officials are scheduled to conduct a thorough investigation to determine the fire's origin. After the incident, Pak Chong Municipality arranged vans to safely transport the 50 tourists to their pre-booked hotel. In related news, Transport Co. Limited announced that it will resume its Udon Thoni to Vang Vieng bus route on November 1, re-establishing a key connection between Thailand, Laos, and China. The 240-kilometer route will take advantage of the Vientiane, Vang Vieng Expressway, reducing travel time from 8 hours to just 5 hours and 30 minutes. Two round-trip services will be available daily, with 40-seat air-conditioned buses providing comfortable transport. Athawit Rakjum Roon, acting managing director of Transport Co. Limited, stated that the route, known as International Route 9, will link Udon Thoni International Airport, Nong Kai, and Vang Vieng. The service aims to attract tourists during the winter season by offering convenient connections to the Laos-China high-speed rail. The outbound trip will leave Udon Thoni Bus Terminal 1 at 8.30 a.m., stopping at Udon Thoni Airport at 9 a.m. and Nong Kai Bus Terminal at 10.20 a.m. The return service from Vang Vieng departs at 9 a.m. The fare is set at 500 baht per passenger. Floods cause 50 billion baht in damages, FTI urges swift stimulus action. The Federation of Thai Industries, FTI, estimates that recent floods in northern and northeastern Thailand have caused economic losses ranging between 30 and 50 billion baht. The FTI has urged the government to implement additional economic stimulus measures for the remainder of 2024, including tax incentives to stimulate spending and support domestic tourism. Novachantan Asurakan, vice chairman of the FTI, emphasized the urgent need for government action, noting the flood's broad impact on households, agriculture, industry, and tourism, all of which have slowed economic growth. According to an FTI survey, the Industrial Confidence Index fell from 87.7 in August to 87.1 in September, reflecting challenges from the floods and other economic pressures. These include weak domestic purchasing power, high household debt, and a decline in the sales of durable goods, such as cars and motorcycles. Nova also pointed out that household debt and stricter lending policies have delayed government investment projects, further affecting demand for construction materials. Additional factors putting pressure on the manufacturing sector and exports include the dumping of Chinese goods and the rapid appreciation of the baht. Despite these obstacles, the government's 2024 economic stimulus efforts have successfully boosted domestic consumption, particularly in consumer goods, while tourism remains a key driver of growth. Nova called on the government to develop a real-time disaster warning system and strengthen collaboration with neighboring countries to address agricultural practices that degrade upstream forests, increasing the risk of flash floods and landslides. Thai government launches economic recovery project to support growth and small businesses. Prime Minister P. Tongtan Shinawat on Wednesday, October 16, launched an economic recovery project aimed at reducing expenses, increasing income, and expanding opportunities for small businesses and vulnerable groups. 
the project, set to run for five months until January 2025, is expected to stimulate the economy by approximately 110 billion baht, $3.3 billion, and benefit 95% of small entrepreneurs, P. Tongtan said at the launch event. The initiative follows a previous economic stimulus measure that distributed 10,000 baht to vulnerable groups starting September 25, which the government claims injected 145.5 billion baht into the economy. The new project comprises three key strategies. These include reducing costs for small businesses by lowering rent for shops and stalls in both government and participating private areas, and increasing income opportunities by opening military camps and provincial halls for small vendors to set up markets. Finally, the project is aimed at lowering living costs for citizens by coordinating with major manufacturers and wholesalers to reduce prices of consumer goods. Large-scale discount events are being organized as part of this effort. Diesel price cap of 33 baht extended until year end amid global uncertainty. Diesel price cap of 33 baht per liter extended until year end. The Energy Ministry announced plans to maintain the price of diesel at no more than 33 baht per liter until the end of the year, extending the cap originally set to expire on October 30th. Energy Minister Pirapan Saliritha Vibhaga mentioned that while the cap may be extended, the ongoing conflict in the Middle East could drive up global oil prices, and the situation will be closely monitored. Despite these uncertainties, Pirapan reassured the public that the government will work to minimize the impact on consumers. He added that keeping fuel and electricity prices stable is essential to supporting economic growth. Energy Permanent Secretary Prasad Sinsik Prasad also noted that the Middle East conflict has not yet had a significant effect on Thailand. The country's current oil reserves are sufficient for 26 days, though ideally, reserves should last up to 70 days. Thank you for tuning in today. To stay informed with the latest news, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Stay safe, keep dry, and have a wonderful day ahead.